Hi, my name is Jacques Tribuani from Yosin Community. Here's an introduction to advanced grid concepts in Yosin Hollyhock. Now we've seen how to use the grid, here are some advanced grid concepts. Create a new empty workspace. First, let's synchronize an audio sample to the grid. Open the browser and under sounds, expand Grooves folder and drop the GR2 sample on the Rags patch. Yuzin asks you how to play this file. Select Normal Sampler. Close the browser. Open the grid. Drop your sampler patch on a section and expand it. Now right-click the grid item and activate Sync to Sampler. Your sampler waveform appears in the grid element and the sample is played each time the grid section restarts. To make the grid section fit the sample length, check Section Sync in the item options. Now the section is synchronized. Let's create a volume automation. Click the list of curves tab. Check gr 2 gain. Now you can edit your volume automation by double-clicking the curve. You can also drop presets in the grid. Here's an example. Set the sampler pitch to minus 8. Click the camera to open the preset tab. Expand and click Store New. You can alt-click your new preset to rename it. Then change the pitch to 12. Create another preset and rename it. Our presets can be recalled with the mouse. But we want a grid automation. Drop the first preset at the beginning of the grid section Expand it to your need, then drop your second preset the following. My presets are recalled by the grid. If you want to smooth the transition between two presets, right-click the first preset item in the grid and change preset fade duration to one second. Do the same for the second item. Our value changes smoothly between the two presets. Now let's see how to synchronize a piano roll to the grid. Click using workspace background and clear workspace. Open the browser and in the MIDI tab expand drum grooves. Drag the Groove 5 to your patch. Here is your piano roll with your MIDI file. But you need an audio bank to play it. Select the Bank tab in your browser. Expand Drum Kit and drop Angus Bank in your rack under the piano roll. A new patch is created with your bank in a MIDI sampler. Close the browser. Let's open the grid and drop the piano roll patch in section 1. Expand, right click, select Sync to Piano Roll and Section Sync. Now copy paste. The item in grid section 2 has the same tunings. Switch the first section to next. Let's now tune section 2 in order to go back to first section. Right click the section. In next mode, select Go to section number and choose section 1. Now set the section to next mode. Your two sections are played looped. You can also change time signature. Default tuning is 4 bits per measure. But we can change it to 2 bits per measure. Mm -hmm. 
And if you want to count the measures per cycle, copy-paste your time signature seven times to fit the mid-file 16 bits. You can change tempo and section length using the grid sections. Clear your workspace. In the browser, pick the Groove Metrics patch in the library's Groove Machines folder and drop it in your rack. You can resize the patch using your scroll wheel or pinching your screen. Select the second preset in the Preset tab and stop your patch. Open the grid, drop your patch in section 1 and expand it. To set a specific tempo for section 1, right-click it and under Tempo Settings, set Tempo to 90. Then change its duration to 2 bars. Now tune section 2 in order to play at 120 BPM. Switch section 1 to next mode and play the grid. Section 1 plays 2 bars at 90 BPMs.